and put the strength into that bolt hole and limit the spreading force of the bolt when it's tightened into that hole, which would work against the repair, we set up and use a full torque thread replacement insert. And we start by placing the right angle drill fixture on the, on the casting using the alignment pin, the tapered alignment pin into the hole and tighten the, the uh, drill plate down onto the casting. Remove the alignment pin and we'll drill the hole with the proper size drill bit all the way down through the wall of the casting. This was a blind hole to start with, so we'll actually repair this using a blind insert so that the hole will be sealed. So we've got our hole drilled, and it's actually slightly intersecting the last stitching pin we put in. Some of the kits come with a roughing tap and a finishing tap, depending on the thickness and how deep we're going. So in this case, we're going to use the roughing tap first. We use some of the 750 sealant, shake it up real good, get the Teflon in solution. And tap the hole. Keep, keeping our hole perpendicular, keeping the tap perpendicular to the surface to make sure we get it nice and straight. You can also tap this in a, with a machine, a magnetic base drill, or some other method to uh, to speed it up or to make sure that you're, you're tapping at the uh, perpendicular to the surface. Remove the roughing tap. You want to make sure that you go deep enough to make sure the insert will go through. In this case, we're going all the way through, so run the tap down to make sure we have clean threads all the way through. The roughing tap cuts half of the thread profile. The finishing tap just cuts the threads deeper. Apply some tapping fluid, start the, the tap into the hole, and just finish tapping it all the way through, bringing the threads up to their full diameter. It's best with these taps to just run it straight through. Don't use a forward and reversing action. That doesn't seem to help any. Just go straight through it, all the way down through, and then back it out. Blow out the threads real good. Clean out the hole. And we're ready to install the insert. But first, we have to set the depth of our locking pin so we place the drill tube over the drill bit, place that on the washer or through the washer, compare the length of the locking pin to the protrusion of the drill bit and tighten the drill bit into the chuck. This is a 1 16th diameter locking pin so you have to make sure your drill motor or the chuck on your drill motor can accept a 1 16th inch drill bit. Now we're going to put a little bit of anti-seize on our threads. We want to make sure that we don't end up with any thread locker in between the installation stud and the thread insert. And we screw the insert onto the stud. You notice the insert has a bottom on it or it's a blind insert. We put some thread locker into the hole and tighten the, uh, the insert down into the hole. We're going to tighten it down and torque it down until that installation washer sits firmly and flush against that surface. Just tight, tighten it down until it sits flush to the surface. And once we get it tightened down, use an, a, an Allen wrench in the stud and a wrench on the nut to loosen the nut. We don't want to turn this this uh, insert once we've got it installed. So now we want to place the drill hole in the washer at the location where we feel it's best to place the, the locking pin in an area where it's the strongest away from the repair and we drill our hole down through the washer using the drill tube as a spacer to set the depth. 
and we drill that little hole right along the side of the threads. Remove the installation stud from the insert. We're going to place one drop of sealant into our hole. And just tap it down in with a hammer to make sure that it's seated all the way. Just tap it down flush. Might want to dress over the top of it with a file slightly to make sure there's no burrs or anything protruding above. 